हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब लर्निंग चैनल एक्यूरेट ए एस एम ई आई एस ओ यू विल फाइंड मेनी इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग डेटम टाइप्स ऑफ द डेटम डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम एटसेट्रा ऑन मेनी ऑफ द रिसोर्सेस बट लेटस गो बियॉन्ड दिस बेसिक थिंग्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड द क्राइटेरिया वाइल सिलेक्टिंग द डेटम फीचर्स डेटम्स एंड नंबर ऑफ डेटम्स नंबर ऑफ डेटम्स प्लेज ए वाइटल रोल इन द जी डी एन विथ रियल असेंबली एग्जाम्पल्स वी विल लर्न ऑल दीज इन दिस वीडियो प्लीज डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड शेयर इट टू यूर फ्रेंड्स सो लेट एस बिगिन नाउ इन द जी डी एन टी स्टैंडर्ड ए एस एम ई वाई फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव टू थाउजेंड नाइन द प्रीवियस वर्जन a very good datum selection process chart was given we shall use it as a guideline in latest version 2018 clause number 7.1 general it stated that the section establishes the principle of identifying features as datum features for the purpose of establishing relationships imposed by geometric tolerances and for constraining the degree of freedom this means that in gdnt datum features are used to establish the basis for defining other features location orientation and tolerances they play a key role in constraining the parts movement during manufacturing as well as in assembly it is helping ensure proper fit form and location a datum feature is a physical feature or physical portion of a part that is used as a reference point for measuring and controlling other features it serves as the starting point or reference for defining the position orientation and other geometric properties of a part to understand this clause better let us take an example of this assembly important parts of the assembly shown are body cover seal and a key suppose we want to dimension and tolerance a cover plate to assemble it and this is to be mounted on a body so let us start making a 2d drawing for this part the cover plate will be mounted on the body with these three mounting holes in the given 2d drawing of a cover sizes and center distances are applied as shown to apply the geometric position tolerances to holes we need to select datum features used for the assembly these references are essential for correctly defining the position and orientation of the holes in relation to the overall part a datum feature is selected on the basis of its functional relationship to the tolerance feature and the requirement of the design the feature which is to be tolerance is called a tolerance feature in this case all three holes are tolerance feature to ensure proper assembly of cover and body corresponding interfacing features of meeting parts should be selected as datum features let us demonstrate with the graphical animation how this assembly is going to happen the first step in the assembly is that the bottom plane of the cover plate would get rest on the surface of the body part this plane does not allow the cover plate to move linearly along the body axis in terms of the coordinate system it is along x axis also this cover plate cannot rotate horizontally and vertically that is cannot rotate about y y and z axis it means 3 degrees of movement are locked 
but still this plate is free to slide linearly along Y and Z axis. Assembling the spigot of the cover plate into the cylindrical hole on the body surface locks these two linear degrees of freedom or the moment. Now there is only one degree of freedom is rotating of the cover plate around the X axis. To lock this rotation, a key is mounted on the board, which restricts the moment of the cover at slot available as shown. Thus, there all of the three holes correspondingly matched with the threaded holes of the body. Thus, three features we could identify are as datum features or reference features. This datum plane let us identify as datum A, spigot cylinder axis as datum B and slot center as datum C. We have assembled these three datums in a particular order or sequence called as datum precedence. Therefore, we call them primary datum A, secondary datum spigot cylinder axis B and the tertiary datum slot center C. To summarize, all three datum are required to assemble and function the cover part with geometric position tolerance as shown here. Now in this second session of the video, let us discuss how many numbers of datum are essential. In this example, we already seen that there are three datums essential. The assembly and the function of the part would not perform if datums reduced to number 1 or Sometimes a single datum is sufficient or sometimes more datums are required. With the given example of drawing, we shall learn the criteria to select the number of datums on a part. This is a circular part having four holes equidistanced and symmetrically located. If compared it to the last example, there was a slot or notch available which played an important role to stop the rotational movement of the part. The part required a fixed position of slot to assemble it with mating part. But in this case, it is not the same. This animation explains that if part is rotated at every 90 degrees of angle, there would never be a challenge to assemble it with its mating part. This graphic demonstrates more clarity for the datum requirements. The assembly and the function fulfilled by primary datum K and secondary datum diameter M. Thus, there is no tertiary datum required. This part can be rotated at any 90 degrees to fit and function. In geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, the selection of number of datums is a crucial aspect for defining the reference frame and ensuring that the proper manufacturing, assembly and inspection of a part is carried out. A datum serves as the reference point or surface from which measurements are made. So, Choosing the appropriate number of datums is essential, very essential for the part's functional integrity. There are two important criteria while selecting the number of datums on the part. The first is the functional requirement of the part. The primary factor in selecting datums is the part's functionality. The datum should represent features that are essential for the part's assembly, fit and function. Consider how the part will interact with other component in an assembly and where 
the critical alignment and reference points are needed. The second is the parts geometry. The complexity of the parts geometry will influence how many datums are required. Parts with complex shapes may require more datums to control the form and orientation of all features accurately. Typically, three orthogonal datums are required to fully define the part in 3D space. These three datums ensure that the part can be positioned in all degrees of freedom, that is, translation in XYZ as well as rotation about XYZ axis. Hope that you have liked this video with very easy and simple explanations. You can comment how do you see this initiative and suggest more on upcoming videos. Also we are pleased to conduct training programs at your locations in factories. We offer Occam Germany, an international CMM certification course. Basic of GDNT. Advanced GDNT. Stack up tolerances. Surface finish. MSA and other quality tools. For further details, please contact us. And I'm sure you will encourage the initiative of training through YouTube, by subscribing a channel. Accurate, ASME, ISO. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you.